Good morning, my fellow reptiles. You know what really pisses me off about Facebook? They will do anything they can do to try to make you stay on their platform. I'm still keeping my personal Facebook for family and stuff, but I wanted to delete my Facebook fan page simply because I don't want it anymore and I need to get rid of it. And they're like, you cannot delete your Facebook fan page unless you have to wait 14 days before you can delete it. And then we'll send you an email making sure that you really, really want to delete it. And I'm like... Um, thank you, but I have my mind made up. I want it gone. I don't want my Facebook fan page up anymore, and I want to delete it, and I have to wait 14 days, which is two weeks. It is so stupid. It, I, I hate Facebook. I really do. But that's not what this video is about. So, um, in one of my videos, I did a little, um, a cover of, um, Song of Time using a six-hole ocarina. This is a, um, different pitch. This is not the one I used in my last video. Um, I used a six-hole blue ocarina. This is another six-hole blue um, ocarina, different key. Um, I picked up, and I've been desperately trying to learn this. Um, this here is a six, uh, no, twelve-hole ocarina. Um, this is a lot more advanced to play, but since I've pretty much done everything I can possibly do with a six-hole ocarina, I wanted to move on to something more advanced. Now, um, I'm very one of the reasons I don't post a lot of uh, music here on my channel, although I'm a musician, is because I'm very I don't like performing in front of people. Um, I love expressing music. I can play the piano very, very well, um, but I can play the ukulele, I can play the ocarina. Those are like my three instruments, and I can play a little bit of a guitar, but not too well. Um, but I wanted to do a cover um, of Song of Time again, but with a different type of ocarina. And this is, again, 12-hole, which is more advanced, and it also sounds a lot different versus a 6-hole ocarina. Now, down below, I have a link to where you can buy these in case you're interested in learning the ocarina. If you don't know what the ocarina is, it's an instrument um, made out of... Is, it's, it's not clay. It's a certain type of glass, but you, it's kind of like a flute. You blow into it, and um, it makes sounds, and you use your finger, fingers to cover up the holes. Which, do, do, which makes certain key um, signatures and sounds. So I'm going to attempt to play this Song of Time. I've been trying to play it a lot recently. Um, it's actually a lot more challenging to play on six, uh, 12 holes rather than 6. Um, there's just way too many holes. That's what she said. But um, let's see if I can do this first time without messing up. Again, breathing techniques are extremely important in the ocarina. It's something I've recently learned. Yesterday I almost passed out trying to play this because I, was, I, I wasn't taking breaths while I was playing and you have to take little, little breaths or else um, you won't have the power to push the air in to make the certain sounds. But um, I'm not very good at breathing. Simple, but it's amazingly how much harder, much harder, no, it's a lot harder with um, a sick 12 holes. And this is, this is a really advanced um, ocarina, I got, I bought this, I bought this off Amazon. Um, as you can see, it's specifically for um, Legend of Zelda because I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan and um, fanatic actually I would ask you to uh, say. And I, I'm trying to figure out I don't know how many if how many people actually play the uh, the ocarina here on my channel. Maybe no one at all. But I don't know how to read this. Um, let me see. Can you focus? Um, I don't know if you can even see that. But um, it is essentially um, it's seven six four seven six four seven six. I'm assuming that the the numbers is what hole that you're pressing down on the ocarina. But there's no guide to explain because it's just, it's all numbers. And um, normally, like, th the piece I just played for you guys um, was like this. See all, the, see all the little black holes and stuff? 
right there, you, it tells me what fingers I need, uh, what holes need to be covered when I play. Whereas this other stuff, um, all of these, like 5i, 532, 334, 56, 5, 545, I don't know how to read that. Um, I know how to read piano music, but I don't know how to read this. Um, so if anyone has any idea on, on this, um, please let me know. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you that I got my a new instrument, um, this ukulele, uh, not ukulele, a uh, new Ox 6 Hole Ocarina, and that I'm practicing doing some advanced uh, songs, and I'm actually going to be making, if I can get it to work, um, a video of me playing one tune, another tune, another tune, and another tune. So it's going to be all of these, um, it's going to be four different videos of me playing um, the same song, but in different keys and in different, um, you'll just have to wait. Um, I'm working on it, and hopefully I'll add in the piano, um, ocarina, another ocarina, and I may add in the ukulele, I don't know. But again, I'm very self-conscious about um, playing um, uh, music in front of people. Um, very few people even know that I can play the piano or play any instruments because I just, I don't like playing for people. Um, and I recently just wrote a new piano piano um, uh, sheet music for um, somebody that um, I recently met, but that's besides the point. Um, I do write music, so maybe I'll, I'll come out of my comfort zone and make another um, cover of one of my songs. I posted a song on my channel a while back called Serenade, which was written by me on my piano. That's uh, also linked down below if you want to check that out, but um, thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Solzbach. Thanks for watching. Peace out.